4 o'clock on the dot. Home after working 7 a.m. 3 p.m. Got a guy, sorry, left Missouri about 2 o'clock. He's heading this way. He wants to look at all my equipment and possibly purchasing everything. So that'll be great. So he won't be here till like 4.30ish. Sucks. So I need to be getting to my office, but hey. <coughs> They need to be getting stuff done. <coughs> all the stuff out of my way, springtime and everything else coming on. Just get all this stuff. It's little minor stuff. Got some other things that are possibly in the works too. Just taking those uh, smaller things, dropping them off so I can make room for bigger things. I allocate my time better. Always readjusting, repositioning myself to do bigger, better keep going up move next level next steps but you gotta get rid of stuff you gotta get rid of that little stuff the stuff that you think is doing you really well could actually be hindering you more than it can be progressing you so you really need to sit down a lot of times with your finances with talking with people investors mentors you know stuff like that just figuring out what is the best in your interest your time your money everything so other than that gotta get to the office tonight gotta get some more things knocked out but just trying to knock everything out one day at a time, one problem at a time, one issue at a time, one part of my list at a time. That's it. I'm going to do a couple things around the house, <clears throat> get some stuff figured out before he gets here, and we'll see how that goes. Yay. All right, at 17th and Gage, heading to the rental house. Got the guy behind me. We already looked at the equipment at the house, liked all that, but so I hate about having you know all the treadmills, ellipticals, and other stuff over at this house. So called the renters and you know told them I was or asked them more or less if I could come over and show the equipment off to some people. I said I won't even you won't even know them there. It's going through the side gate in the back garage with the key that I have. So it's not right up at the house. Hey, so that's fine. So okay, that's good. So he's gonna look at all the treadmill slip tools and everything, and hopefully, fair across that he's gonna make a decision either tonight or the next couple days that he wants to purchase it all and get it all out of my hair and done, which will be awesome. He's liking everything so far. He wants to start up a small gym in Missouri with a town of like 1,500 people. So it'd be great for him to get equipment for pretty cheap and enough for a good fitness center. So we're excited about that, but all right, pulling up now, so here we go. Man, oh, sometimes I just got rants, sometimes I just got things in my mind, I got a thousand things to do, but always trying to provide you guys some value of what's going on and where you guys want to be in life, but sorry about the vlog and the Win Win Wednesday, got everything up tonight, I'm here at 9.40 p.m., I think I'm gonna go to work tonight at 11. I'm kind of debating on take off till 3 a.m. because I'm doing some pretty good work on this proposal I got going on. Even though it just has to be perfect, perfection. It needs to be professional. It just, it's gotta be on point. So, yeah, that's been racking my brain a lot, but got a lot of other things done today. Got a. Hopefully some really good news about the gym equipment. Got a couple buyers, so I'm ready to rock that and get that just out of my hair. Oh, that'd be phenomenal. So, so ready for it to happen. Get my whole shop for the once in four years that I've owned the house, man. Other than that, um, just talking with some kids, younger kids, like just, man, you need to put your pride aside. People aren't going to want to help you. People aren't going to fuck with you. People aren't going to want to help you if you just act like a know-it-all. I mean, trust me, I've been there. I was that kid. So many of the younger generations feel like they have to prove something and they just, they know it. This and that, when, you know, me, older people are trying to help. We've been there, you know, especially when you see things in different lights and people are where you want to be in life, but you just get such tunnel vision of you think you know what's going on, but Man, it sucks when you want to help people, but people are just going to have to learn the hard way. No sweat off my back. I learned the hard way. 
Now I'm smooth sailing a lot easier now than I ever did before, but you gotta try to show somebody the bigger picture. It's always willing to help somebody. Helping is the biggest and most rewarding thing I think I can do. And that's why I do this vlog. That's why I do my Win Win Wednesday. It's helping people. I don't get anything from it. I just get some views. I don't get anything else. I mean, I get some more work actually, more than anything, because people message me all the time. You know, wanting help, insight, uh, questions. You know, so I do something for free and it makes me more work. But I put out more than I consume. And a lot more than, I wouldn't say more than I consume because I consume a lot of content. I'm always studying, learning, and growing, but it's a lot more than I receive, be a better word for it. Other than that, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do tonight. Just put your pride aside, keep your mind open, always learn from everyone, check your attitude, get your ego down, and stay grinding, stay hustling. Get after what you want. It's the only way it's ever gonna happen. But you need to get out there and network. You need to talk to people. Because trust me, I learned the hard way and really hindered my progression because I thought I could do it all myself. And when I started letting other people help and come in and take up different aspects in my empire, so to call it, I've progressed farther. So I'm really getting that through my thick skull. It's living and learning. That's all it is. So, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here in the next 15 minutes. If I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna call in for a bit. I don't know. Guess you find out. Boom. Decided to go to work. 10.35. Got food for the dog ready. Everything's out in the vehicle. Lunch is packed, clothes are ready. Time to head to work. 12 hours, 11 p.m., 11 a.m. You guys got enough for me today. That's it. Have a good night.